My name is Bob Connolly. I'm a retired Framingham tech ed teacher. Uh, I taught at the Walsh Middle School and the Cameron Middle School. So I do have a connection to Framingham. Uh, uh, many of the kids uh, that I had in school uh, are the type of kids that are, uh, sign up for hoops and homework. Uh, let's see, I, uh, I grew up in Boston. <clears throat> so Boston Marathon holds a special place in my heart. Uh, you know, it was coming from Boston. It was a very big deal. The, I, I chose Hoops and Homework uh, as the charity I raised money for because uh, there's a number of reasons. Uh, being a middle school teacher, uh, I had uh, a lot of great memories from the kids, uh, especially the kids from the South Side, uh, which is very much like where I grew up. I grew up in Boston, the, the Dorchester section of, of Boston. So I had a lot of things in common with these kids. So this was a good fit for me, the hopes, uh, hoops and homework. This will be my 26th Boston Marathon. Marathon. First Boston Marathon was the 100th Boston Marathon. If someone asks you why you do this, why you do the marathon, you tell them because it feels so good when I stop. <laughs> so just a quick little flip answer to that question. <laughs> when, how old were you when you ran your first? Uh... I was 46. You were? Seven, I'm 72 now. 2018. The weather was not good. Talk, talk to me. It was, it was terrible. Uh, it was... The rain was just going in the early part of the, the uh, course. There's some hills in uh, Hopkinton and <clears throat> Ashland. And when you're running up the hill, there was water rushing down and it had gravel and silt and mud in the water. So you were ankle deep in mud running up the, the hills. And uh, I, I, had, uh, I had one of those... Uh, throw away uh, rain ponchos. And it's common to, to uh, have clothes that you toss out, toss away as you're running, as you warm up. And I had an old hoodie that I had on, but it, it was so cold that I kept it on the whole time. But I had a little kerfuffle uh, about a uh, half a mile from the finish line. As you're going underneath Mass Ave. Uh, I noticed everybody was ripping off their, their uh, ponchos and getting rid of clothes because you, you get ready to have your photo taken at the, at the finish line. So I'm ripping off my uh, poncho and I, I kept the hoodie the whole time because it was cold. So I throw that off. So You've heard the expression, uh, right on Hereford, left on Boylston. Uh, when you turn left, you can see the, uh, the finish line about, uh, what is it, 385 yards to go. And I'm about halfway down that stretch when I realized when I threw my hoodie off, I had one of those arm sleeves for your phone. So I had my, arm full, my iPhone in the sleeve. When I threw my sweatshirt off, I threw my phone away. So, uh, but I was able to retrieve it. I had to finish and then uh, walk up to Calm Ave and walk back. And uh, I was able to retrieve it. So <laughs> the 2018 was, it was just so cold and it was kind of uh, an ice storm for a little while. And then it was... It was a, a tough marathon. And I do remember, I was thinking about it today. I do remember uh, the contingent of uh, hoops and homework people on the south side of town. Because as I'm going to Framingham, I would often look at the crowd to see students that I've had in the past. And, you know, uh, I would, you know, shout out uh, to them uh, or 
And I remember seeing a bunch of a bunch of kids. I didn't have these kids in school, but they uh, they were there for the Framingham Runners to cheer them on. Yeah, I I, I did live in a, a project for a while in South Boston when I was younger, and uh, I know a lot of the, the kids in South Side. There, that's similar to what their their living uh, situation looks like. Um, so, you know, and, and um, one thing I always like about the, uh, those kind of kids is that they, they, they're doers. They don't, they have to do things to, to make it happen. And they seem to have uh, that type of uh, built in effort that they, you know, they can just apply themselves and, and get things done. In other words, they have no silver spoons, right? Uh, I didn't say it, but uh, I won't disagree with that. <laughs> now, in the past, in your past uh, 26 races, you've had to raise a ton of money each time, right? Yeah, yeah. And it, it, uh, it gets tough. People get a little worn out because I, you know, I have some uh, friends and family that have been supporting me since the first time. But it's it's tough these days. Uh, money is tough for everybody. Uh, but I still have a a lot of um, old standbys that that you know that uh, they ask me, "Oh, you you've been a run again? Let me know. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna support you." And 